Like growing up, me and my brother used to sit and watch X Games as a kid, like watching Nyquist and Mira kill it. I never, ever, ever thought in a million years that I'd be riding in X Games, but I don't know. Life's crazy and I just can't believe that it's actually happening. So yeah, Barcelona is definitely one of my favourite cities I've ever been to. It's just so sick, just getting to like, just pedaling around, just cruising around the city. I'm not here to like, ride it, like compete in X Games, I'm just here for first alternate, so. I only get to ride if someone gets hurt. I'm just hoping to take away a nice chunk of confidence. I've seen the course and it is unbelievable. It's pretty much one big bowl. It, seriously, it's definitely my kind of course. And uh, there's some little tech lines in there, which is so sick, I love that stuff. So smooth. So good. I never write contests because I always end up getting so nervous, like super nervous that I can't, I can hardly even drop in. I don't know why I did it to myself. Because the night before, Chase really, really badly like twisted his ankle while I was practicing. So he's like, yeah, Chris, you're up. And I was like, no way. Like, I couldn't believe it, like actually getting to ride X Games after watching it all those years ago on TV. It was so overwhelming and it didn't actually sink in until I was sitting on the deck. Yeah, so just about to head in and do my run, so hopefully it goes well. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited. But yeah, just stoked to be here, so here we go. So nervous. Best runs total that'll hopefully get you out of that three cut and into the final. And we started off with Chris Kyle here in heat number two. Yeah, picture us can can Tran transfer up into the it's a nine foot tall concrete bank there that you can transfer onto almost like a resin. And throwing in some tech lip tricks too. Really cool to see low back half cabs and things using the sushi dish for more than just something to jump over. Wow, just see that 180 transfer back pedal and out of that one. This, this is starting yeah. off to be a great run for Chris Kyle. Time. And he actually got into this at the last minute. He came in as an alternate. He actually filling in here for Chase Hawk, who backed out right before he came on the air. So a great way to start it off here. And he's capable of flying through this thing with like speed and style as well. Anytime you do a bunch of fakie tricks in your run like he's done up to this point though, oh, that would have been rad. <laughs> Good tech there at the end of the run. I think I still going into it, like I was shaking and stuff, but once I started riding, I felt that better, but just kind of didn't know what to do, just kind of put it together. I was so surprised I pulled something there, but I can't believe I just landed that. I'm just absolutely buzzing, like, I'm so, oh man, yes, just yes. <laughs> the Ride Next games, like, definitely gave me a lot more confidence now, because I always used to think, well, I think everyone thinks that pros are, like, way up here, like, gods almost, it's crazy. But um, I was definitely blown away getting to ride with them all, like, because I've looked up to them since I was so young, since I first started riding, and riding in front of people now as well, like, the crowd was huge and stuff, but when you first drop in and that, you're really nervous, but then I think it kind of goes, and yeah, it's just definitely good. It definitely helped me out a lot, I think, so I'm absolutely buzzing on it. After X Games, a couple of days later, there was a dub jam happening in Barcelona, so we thought we'd head along to that and meet up with some friends and stuff, and the amount of riders that were there was unbelievable. Yeah, we just well, found everyone here at Dog Jam, but it's going to be good. Just watch some stuff go down, meet up with a few friends, and yeah, it should be a good day.
met up with Simone in that there. He just absolutely kills everything he touches and everything's first go. I had a blast in Barcelona and uh, spoke to Simone a good bit and he thought it'd be a good idea to like, head to his city and uh, he's going to show us around and just have a ride and film some more stuff. Riding with Simone, like, I've looked up to him for a good couple of years now and he's just so steezy with everything he does, it just makes it look so good. There's not many people on a bike that can do that. Chris is definitely one of my favorite park riders. Like, it's so good watching him riding skate parks, bowls. I just met Chris two, two days ago, and I, I was shocked about his level. When I got the opportunity to make this video, I just thought to be focused on the riders, to make this video very, very clear, very simple. People uh, just to enjoy the, the riding. We have some good spots in Genoa that uh, I always used to ride with my friends. We have like different training spot, so he's definitely gonna love it. Good stuff, we're gonna have fun. So we're just walking around just now to try to find a tattoo shop and get some ink. Yeah, so like this here, but like around there, and then have like the arms going out maybe. Presente questa forma qua con l'occhio, c'è un occhio. It's 
episode. <laughs> He'd been telling me the whole week that his grandma's like the best cook ever and she's cooking ravioli and all that stuff. So I was like, yeah. I couldn't wait to try it, to be honest, because he'd been hyping it up the whole week. The lifestyle over there is just completely different. Like, when we went to Simone's grandparents, they were the nicest people in the world. Not one of them could speak a word of English all apart from Simone. It's like, that is the real Italy. I'd actually like to live there one day, it's so nice. Oh God, his gran is just the best cook ever. Like, I've never tried ravioli like that before in my life. It's good to see that, and that compared to our culture back home in Scotland, it's just, it's so different. It's crazy. Usually on a riding trip, you never really have days to chill. You're always just riding, 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 which I absolutely love, but it's always good to get get a nice day of chill. So the last day, topped it off with the beach, and it was just so nice. It actually felt like a holiday, like soaked up a bit of sun and just completely relaxed, and that was definitely a good way to end a trip. Uh, you see how you just drops off? It was just... An amazing trip. It was an amazing trip, really. With Barcelona and then here, it's just brilliant. Yeah, see you next time. Yeah, hopefully soon. And uh, say thanks to your grandparents for everything as well. But anyway, ciao for now. Ciao for now. Thanks again, man. See you next time. Yeah.